Yo, what is poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. Before we even get this started, I'm gonna run a giveaway since I love giving back to you guys. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, be sure to do so because I ran the giveaway winner of the Six Sense one. I haven't heard back from them. So be sure to go check that out. But let's go ahead and go over to my truck. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be giving away. All right, first item. Boom. Gary Yamamoto swim baits. Some other swim baits right here. And a six cent square bill, which I've actually caught a lot of fish recently on this bad boy. These are gonna be the three items that I'm giving away in today's video. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and that is it. You guys are entered to the giveaway. Boys, we have a banger today. If you guys would like to drop a comment below on video suggestions, video ideas, please do so, because I actually read those, and then I go attempt the video idea. So make sure you go drop some video ideas down below. I want to see what you guys are thinking. I want to see what you guys like. But today we got a dope big bass video that you guys are just going to love. We caught some toads in this video on big worms and big jigs. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and cut to it. So, Alligator Adam, show me what you're rigging up, mate. We are putting on a Texas rig with a big old monster plum worm. It's the plum color. Can I get an up close shot just to show the fam? Uh, at this juice right here. Look at this thing. Yes. I love this color. No plum, I can second that, dude. Plum's a good color. Should catch them. Definitely. Should catch so you're throwing it on just like a standard Texas rig? Yep, we're just throwing a quarter ounce bullet weight with a hook. I gotta finish tying it. I have not finished tying it. <laughs> but that's all we're throwing. Heck yeah. Now that's gonna get him. I okay. think you'll catch. See, on a big worm like this, guys, perfect. Um, my favorite time to throw it is definitely in the summer which is this time of year. You know, summer's coming to an end, but it's not over yet, man. It's still 100 degrees outside, so it's, it's, hot. <laughs> it's still summer. But uh, yeah, summertime is usually the best time to throw this, from my experience. Is that, are you the same way? Yeah, especially on lakes. A lot of times people throw big worms on points and stuff like that, and that's how you usually catch those big worms. Like those big ones. They want one meal most of the time, so they're gonna eat something big instead of something small. Exactly, I like that. And uh, for the jig that I'm throwing, it's just a standard six cents hybrid jig in black and blue. This is the one I've been whacking all the giants on. If you guys do want 10% off, you can check the link in the description. I've been working with them, really nice people over there. If I use stuff, if I'm gonna tell you what it is, I, I mean it works. And you guys are gonna see that today. And uh, high quality hooks, everything is just perfect. Sexy little bait. And you guys are gonna watch this, catch some giant fish on it. So Adam's gonna look in his thing, but these are the ones I'm gonna throw on the back of it. Um, it's like a, it's got black and blue on one side and then green pumpkin on the other. It's gonna fit pretty well with this, you know, black and blue jig. Um, Adam has some more, like I said, he's gonna bring those out as well, because I only have like two or three in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just gonna pair that up. What you got? These are my favorite right here. These are the crawl fatties from Berkeley. These it's black and blue. Yes. They are good on a chatterbait and they're good on a jig. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I've used those on the chatterbait. So, I can second that. Also got some speed crawls and some pit bosses so yeah i feel like either the pit boss um These are all right. not These not are those right. but <laughs> this one or the pit boss i feel like it'd be the best or this one just because it's like bigger profile you know what i mean I so we're going big worms big jigs today so here's my end result got the old six cents hybrid jig and then i have the crawl fatties that's what i ended up throwing on the back of it and it looks really great needless to say so let's go ahead and get out on the pond catch some freaking giants adam Bam. let's get it baby yeah here we go just made it down to the pond big jig let's get it started i'm curious i think we've caught him here before on a big jig so i really don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem personally you know i don't think it's gonna be that tough but getting old big bass we're, we're searching for the giants today you know big jigs big worms we ain't throwing nothing small around here oh i got one. Oh, he hammered me dude he, he like dude this is like second cast just straight up thumped it and never picked it up that was so crazy. Hold up. Dude, holy cow. I mean, just like hammered it. Look, there's a fish swimming there or something. Let's see if he'll bite it this time. Oh, that makes me mad. I thought we were gonna bust a good one right away. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> oh, four pounder. Dude, dude, Adam. Are you kidding me? That ain't that big. But gosh, that's a good fish. What am I saying? This four pound body or four pound head and like a freaking three pound body. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, he came off. He came off. 
Dude, what? Was that a good one, you think? Dude, I don't think it was that good. It's like maybe two, three pounds. Bro. Dang. Look at that. Yeah. Here, you mind work. <laughs> I was going to get it on the big camera, but... That did not happen. <sighs> Whatever, man. Adam loses one. Almost had a crazy double up right off the bat. I'm not jumping in after him. I'd rather catch another. <laughs> so I was reeling the jig, and I got it right by the grass, and he just dove right over it. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. He looked like he was about five, six pounds. I was like, hole, oh, hole. Oh. Now, the first time we fished here, we started there, and we walked down this way, and me and Norm both lost one that was about five, six pounds. Oh, my. Dude, that was big, bro. I'm reeling it up. I'm going to swim it. Watch, he might eat this. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was big, whatever it was. Really big. <laughs> that was a big one. Oh. <laughs> Wait. He broke me off and it's my only jig. It's my only jig. Big, bro. I couldn't even move him. Just straight up. Straight up, dog. I just tied on. That was giant. Look at this. Jeez, dude. I couldn't do one. You know when you feel them for a second? I couldn't move them, dog. Well, boys, we have had a nasty start. And by nasty, I mean really good and really bad at the same time. Good thing is we just got here. We've had three big bites. I mean, instantly. One bad thing, I lost my jig. And that was the only six cents jig I have with me right now. <sighs> that sucks, man, because I really like that jig. And it seems to just catch me big ones. That was a big fish. Ugh, man, why does it always happen to me? Let's dig in my truck. Gotta unlock it first and see if we can find one more jig. Let's pray because this is a big worm and big jig video, guys. I mean, why? Right off the bat, are, are you kidding me? Oh, it's a chatterbait. That's such a turn down, even though I love chatterbaits. <sighs> so I went back to my car. I got this smaller jig, okay? It's not a big jig, but that's okay, guys. You know, whatever it takes for us to catch some fish today. They might not like this thing as much as the other one, or who knows, they might like it even more. I just like throwing big profile baits. Like anybody who watches my channel, you guys know, I just love catching big bass and you know, I like to throw the big baits that the big bass like. But you know, we're still throwing a jig, which still is a bait that, you know, big fish eat. Even though it's a little smaller, I still think we're gonna get the job done. Oh God. Dude, big and big and bro. Oh my gosh. Look at how big his mouth is. Look at that. Oh gosh. Four pounder. Oh. Oh, that might be bigger than four, homie. Look at that, baby. That's an easy four pounder. What you think about that, Adam? I think that is a good Florida. <laughs> he knocked there. the heck out of it, bro. We got all this wind pushing up on this grass line out here. Hit it on top of the right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like my bait landed. Right when my bait landed, I felt just the hardest knock in my line. And he was on there, four pounder, baby. We're getting it done. Damn. That was on the smaller jig that I had to retie on, but I mean, it's happening quick out here. Oh, yeah. I feel like this night bite, we were talking about it. You know, as the sun's going down, last hour or two of the day is almost the best time to fish, especially during the summertime. That's what you get right there. He's just like a thick body, bro. Look at that. You don't even know what hit him, dude. There he goes. We got him right out into the deep. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Oh my God. That's him. Oh my God. Please don't come off. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a huge fish. Oh, dude, look where Adam just caught. You're not gonna believe it. Holy Check cow. It out. Dude, that's every bit of five. Let me say one thing. I usually bring my scale out with me. I cannot find it at the moment. Me and Adam actually looked in my truck and we just could not find it. But I, I'm telling you right now, that is well over four. That is a five pounder. I like turn around and I look at Adam. He's like, holds it up. I'm like, wow, okay. Jeez, he was not coming off. Dude, he was in there. Unless he broke your line. Look at, look look at that eye. His eye is messed up. Oh, wow. On this side, he's good, but. Dude, that's a big and dog. <laughs> that is a big end dog. There you go. Oh, give me some on that one, homie. 
He just took off. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Oh my god, oh my god, throw in there, throw in there, throw in there. I'll film you, I'll film. Throw, throw my jig, throw my jig. Holy cow, swim it. Dude, those were megas. There was a school of them right there. I just like having to look up. Oh, dude, what the? Oh, that's my fish. Oh, that's your fish. Dude, I about had a heart attack. I was like, whoa. I swore he just took off, huh? That was a big school of giants. Pitch in there. Oh my god. That's definitely a big one. I'm gonna ski this bad boy in. That's a good little fish. Got a little bit of slop with him. Dude, he knocked me so hard. That was crazy. Good one on that big worm, right there in the grass. Jeez, giant, giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That, you talk about a freaking football. Oh my gosh. That is a hefty fish. I mean, hefty fish. But that's a big one, boy. I was hopping that jig. I changed up the retrieve. Okay, so it's fat. Right. That, like, that's every bit of almost four pounds. Three and three quarters. Oh, yeah. With how fat he is. Look at that. He might be four, dog. I think he's <laughs> I gotta stop guessing the weights, man. We gotta bring back the scale. But I can tell you every bit of almost four pounds right there. He felt so big when I jacked him, dog. <laughs> There he goes. Oh, he's gone. Right back to the deep. Dude, 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 dude. What is that? 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 Is that a bass? Oh my gosh, it is a bass. I hooked him in the stomach. Oh, I just fell. <laughs> dude, that is a fatty that's the stubbiest fat guy dude i hooked him in the stomach i about had a heart attack i thought i had like a freaking 25 pounder he's like a one pounder in a two pound he's in a one pound body he's about two pounds oh <laughs> <laughs>